Today we're going to be looking at how to use SketchUp to build a spaceship. Now I'm going to be look. I'll be right back. <laughs> That's better. Right, now where was I? Oh yeah, we're going to be looking at how to use SketchUp to build a spaceship. Now I'm not going to be talking about the design aspects as such, that's more of an artistic aspect which will be personal to you. We're looking at how you can use SketchUp to create your design in three dimensions. I'm going to go through a few basic steps and the basic design will be fairly simple but it'll give you an understanding of what you can build. Once you've created your 3D model, you can change your viewpoint in SketchUp to get a hundred different viewpoints and perspectives on it. That's a hundred different snapshots and an unlimited number of 2D images from one 3D model. So let's open it up. Delete the human, we don't really need him. Okay, so we want to create a spaceship here and the important thing is that we want it to be perfectly proportioned. We want it to be symmetrical. The easiest way for me to do this is to create just one half of the model to begin with and then duplicate it. So first I take the rectangle tool and I draw a rectangle here on the ground. I use the push-pull tool to pull it up into a 3D shape. Okay, this is my block of marble. I want a curved object, so I'll use the two-point arc tool here. Click where you want the arc to begin, and again where you want it to end. I'm going to change the rectangle to a circle, and put a circle here. As you can see, it radiates outwards from the central point. I'm going to give the ship some wings to give it that dynamic, aerodynamic look. I use the eraser tool to delete the inner lines so I can have one shape. Okay, so you can see a sort of half bird shape here. Now let's give it some details. I use the offset tool, which is a very useful tool. I can create perfectly defined borders of any thickness with any existing shape. I'll add a few more shapes and offsets. Now to add some textures, I'm going to go for some metal textures, a few different ones for variety and to make it more complex and interesting. Maybe some synthetic textures too. Now it's looking a bit flat, so I'm going to use the push-pull to pull some of these shapes up a little. Let's alter some of these 3D shapes by deforming them a little. First I want to create a new section from this surface, not a smooth continuation. I press select, press alt on the keyboard and pull. You can see the line dividing the original shape from the new one. Once I have this surface selected, if I hit S on my keyboard, I can resize that surface. S is for size. Now the surface is outlined by these yellow lines and these little green boxes here mark out the corners and the halfway points of each side. If I click on the halfway point of the front side of the surface, I move it backwards, it changes the shape of the surface of the whole three-dimensional section that it is a part of. Now I'll create some more features. I want to add some variation, so I want to make a different textured section coming up here. First I'll give it a new texture. I want to use the blue texture here, and I don't have to go back to the textures menu, I can copy it from the model itself. With the paint bucket tool, press command on the keyboard, the bucket turns into a pipette. Now when you click, it samples the texture you've selected. Take your finger off command and it turns back into a bucket. And I can just drop the texture onto the new surface. Almost everything should go to the center line, otherwise we'll have gaps in the middle of the model. If push-pull only lets you pull up a surface as far as a certain point, press Alt on the keyboard and pull again. 
this creates a new section. I'm using the alt pull here to create a kind of banded effect. Now towards the tail of the ship I want this last section to taper down to a point. Select the surface, press S, now click on the corner and pull it inwards. You can also use push pull to push a surface backwards which also creates 3D shapes. Okay, so here's your half ship. What we want to do now is duplicate this and create a mirror image. Then join the two halves together. It sounds complicated, but it's fairly simple. The first thing I'll do is add a guiding line here using the pencil tool. I'm lining it up with the red axis. Now I select the whole thing, edit, copy, and edit, paste. You'll find the keyboard shortcuts very useful here. If you're using a PC, hold down Control and press C to copy, V to paste. On the Mac, Command C to copy, Command V to paste. I'm going to move this whole block up to the original. Use the Move tool, click this corner and move it towards your target. SketchUp helps you out here. It can see what you're trying to do and automatically makes the join perfect. Now paste again. Join the bottom corner of this block to the line we made earlier. Now it's lined up with the first two in the central line. One more time, paste. Again, line it up on the central line like the previous one. Now while it's still highlighted, press S on the keyboard to resize. You now have your three dimensional box around your model. Click on the green marker in the center of the far side of the model. Move this towards the center line and you'll see the object compressing in that direction. If we take it all the way to the center, it's completely flat. If we keep going, it comes out the other side as a mirror image. Now that's good, but we want to be sure it's exactly the right size. To do this, move the mouse pointer to the far corner of the second block. This is the same width as the original block, which is half of what the whole model will be. Click and you have your perfect 3D mirror image. Now it's quite simple to join these two halves together. To carve out the remaining block, just select and push down towards the central line. Each section will disappear. I'll push the underside up to make it look a bit more streamlined. The underside is obviously featureless, so we need to fix that. Ideally, the underside should be different, but for this demo, I'll skip ahead to show you how to make the ship symmetrical vertically as well as horizontally. Select the whole thing, copy and paste. Now we want to flip this version over onto its back. In order to do that precisely, I'm going to create a little cube here, right next to it. Select the copied model and the cube. Now use the rotate tool. Click on the front surface of the cube, near the bottom, then near the top. Rotate the cube and with it your model. To get this perfect, when you start to move it, let go of the mouse and type 180 on your keyboard. Those numbers will appear here in the bottom right of your window where it says angle. Press enter and it will complete the rotation for you. Now again, it's quite simple to find a point that you can join up to the corresponding point on the original. And here's your spaceship. With the Orbit tool, you can change your viewpoint and get an unlimited number of two-dimensional snapshots. File, Export, 2D Graphic. Now this is a fairly simple model, but it gives you the basic idea of how to create something more detailed and realistic if that's what you want. In later videos, I'll come back to SketchUp and I'll show you a few more tips and tricks. One point I want to make if you're making a very detailed model, it may start to eat up a lot of your computer memory and slow everything down. 
you can reduce this by limiting heavy amounts of detail to one side only, as you're only using this for two dimensional snapshots. You can always reverse the image from left to right on GIMP pretty easily. There's a lot more to SketchUp you can do, of course. This video is just showing you a tiny fraction, but even these few techniques can be used creatively in many different ways. I hope you found this useful. If so, please let me know and follow for further updates. That's all for me. Beaming out. <laughs>